Hey, it's Yay for Yarn, and today I've got seven tips for choosing the best yarn to knit and crochet summer garments. So first of all, we need to understand why we can't just choose any old yarn from our stash when we're making garments or accessories for the summer. So we have to be very selective when choosing yarn for summer garments because a lot of different types of yarn kind of tend to trap body heat and they don't really breathe. And that's great if it's fall or winter and you want to stay warm. The purpose of the garment is to stay warm. If you're knitting a sweater or a scarf or whatever, then yeah, that's great. You want it to trap your body heat and keep you warm. But in the summer, that's not exactly ideal. It's already plenty warm outside and we don't want to trap body heat. We want to wear a garment that allows the skin to breathe and doesn't, you know, doesn't make you too hot. Um, you just want something lightweight that can you can wear during the summer but still um, is, is cool and lightweight and doesn't, you know, doesn't trap your body heat and it allows the fabric to breathe. So this is why we have to be careful when choosing yarns for the summer. So let's get into these seven tips and then I will walk you through all of the yarns that I have on the table here and show you why I think all of these would be a good idea for certain types of summer projects. So tip number one, cotton is your best friend. And I say cotton because cotton is, is a lot more common in yarn, but other plant fibers like bamboo and linen and other, other types of fibers like that, the same goes for those as well because plant fibers are really, really good for the summer. So the reason that cottons and plant fibers are good for summer yarn is because they generally are a lot more breathable than things like wool or other types of animal fibers. So you want a yarn that can breathe and cotton is very good for that because cotton just naturally, um, it, it's good up against the skin during the summer and it allows, it allows your skin to breathe and that's what we want. Tip number two, thinner is better. And that's not to say that there are no worsted weight yarns that are great for the summer because there are, I have several sitting here. But when you choose a thinner yarn, thinner yarns are automatically going to be lighter weight and they're gonna have better drape. And also generally when we use thinner yarns in the summer, we do not work them at a tight gauge and that also allows air to pass through the fabric and it makes it more breathable and more comfortable for the summer. So tip number three, be careful with your acrylics. And this is a big one because I know a lot of us have large quantities of worsted weight acrylic yarn at home and those yarns are great for a lot of things, but you need to be very selective when using them for summer garments. And that is because a lot of acrylic yarns are fluffy and fuzzy and even if they're very soft, they don't necessarily breathe very well. So for example, the Pound of Love yarn that I used for my simple slouchy sweater would not be a good choice for summer garments because it does not breathe. So that sweater in that yarn is great for when it's cold out. It definitely traps your body heat and it's nice and cozy and snuggly and warm and that's great for winter and fall but you don't want that in your summer garments. So you definitely want to avoid yarns like that for the summer because they just don't breathe and you want the fabric to breathe. Now, if your acrylic is blended with cotton, that makes it even better. But if it is a very dense, smoothly spun acrylic that is worked in kind of an open stitch pattern, it can work very well. So number four, this is not exactly a tip for choosing yarn, but it is a tip for choosing a pattern to go with your yarn. So open lacy stitches are ideal for the summer. And this is a really easy one. 
um, because when your stitches are kind of opened up and you've got some lace in there, or even if the stitches are just, you know, worked at a looser gauge so that there are gaps between the strands of yarn, that allows air to flow through the fabric, it's open, it's it's breathable because of the laciness of the fabric and not just because of the yarn that you're using. So number five, no fuzz, okay? We do not want to use fuzzy yarns for the summer because, like I said before, they trap heat. Fuzzy textures of yarn trap heat. They do not breathe and they do not allow the yarn to be penetrated by the wind or the airflow easily. So we don't want to use anything that is fuzzy for the summer. Number six, no non-superwash wools or animal fibers. And this is a very important one as well because if you're familiar with animal fiber yarns, superwash animal fiber yarns are treated so that they cannot felt. But non-superwash animal fiber yarns are kind of just in their natural state. And if you're wearing, for example, a wool garment that is not super wash wool and it's in summertime it's hot out any perspiration on the skin combined with the friction of the fabric up against your skin as you move around can cause the fabric to felt while it's on you and you really don't want that to happen because not only does that shrink your garment but felting is not something you can undo once it's felted, it's felted, and there's no unfelting it. So you do not want to use any kind of animal fiber yarn that is not a super wash yarn. Tip number seven, it does not have to be crochet thread. So just because crochet thread is cotton, it's lightweight, it's thin, and all of those things, it, it fits a lot of the criteria, doesn't mean that that's the only thing you can use because there are loads of yarns out there that are summer garment friendly that are not crochet thread. You don't have to spend forever and ever and ever on one project working it in like size 10 crochet thread just because that fits all the criteria. I'm not saying you can't because if you really want to, you can. Crochet thread is great for summer garments, but a lot of us don't have that much time to spend on one project. So it doesn't just have to be crochet thread. There are plenty of other options out there that work up more quickly that are still just as comfortable for the summer. So let's look at some of the yarns that I have on the table right now. And I'm going to go over each of these with you and show you why I think these are a good choice for the summer. So let's start with this one. This is called Red Heart. It's a wrap. This is a cotton and acrylic blend. So that is a good thing because we've got some cotton in there, but the acrylic um, helps it, you know, be an easy care yarn. This yarn is a number one super fine. It's fingering weight, so it's thin. It doesn't have to be this thin. There are other uh, thicker yarns that work too, and I'll show you those in a minute. But this is a number one super fine yarn. So it is thin, it's lightweight, it's cotton. But it still has some acrylic in there too, and that's okay because this yarn is still going to be lightweight and breathable because of the cotton and because it is thin and smoothly spun. So if we look at one strand of this, it is very thin and smoothly spun. Now this yarn is designed to be worked at a larger gauge than normal. So even though this is as thin as a lot of crochet threads, it's kind of made to be worked a little bit looser than a crochet thread so you don't have to work this with super tiny hooks or needles because you can you know can use just a slightly larger hook or needle and get a slightly more open fabric out of this yarn so this one also ticks a lot of the same boxes as this one over here this is called lion brand ombre life and this one is a number two fine weight. And this is the next step up from the number one super fine. So this one is also very, very thin. Now when you look at this, it looks like thread, but it's not. Because every strand of this is several strands of a very thin 
thread spun together. So you don't just use one strand of the thread, you use three or four of those strands because that is how it is twisted. So this one is great for the summer, not only because it is part cotton and part acrylic, but also because it's thinner, even though it's thicker than this one. This one is also intended to be worked at a slightly larger gauge than what you would normally use for a yarn of this thickness. So while we're still talking about cotton yarn, I really like this 24-7 cotton by Lion Brand for the summer because, yes, it's 100% cotton, but it's mercerized cotton. So mercerized cotton is treated in a way, I don't know exactly you know, how they do it, but it's treated in a way to make it very, very smooth and kind of shiny a little bit. So this type of cotton is a little bit more rope-like and that's great if you're doing um, anything lacy or open. So this yarn has no fuzz to it whatsoever and even though it's worsted weight, this is a great choice for the summer because the ropiness of this yarn, um, you wouldn't normally use this for like a solid fabric, like a, a dense solid fabric, unless you're making like a bag or something, that would be great. But for a garment, this is, this is a yarn that is ideal for any kind of open or loose stitch pattern. So this one is a great one because it breathes real well and it doesn't have any fuzz to it at all. And it's worsted weight so it does work up faster than something like this. So I've got one more cotton yarn up here right now and this one is called the Comfy Cotton Blend by Lion Brand. This one is a number three yarn, a number three light. And this one is also cotton, but it's also part polyester. So it's 50% cotton, 50% polyester. And this one is a thicker yarn. And this one is still suitable for the summer because A, it has some cotton in it, and also because it is when you're working it in a lighter stitch pattern or an airier, more open stitch pattern, even if it's just slightly larger than the typical normal gauge, or even if you want to work it at gauge, it doesn't really matter, as long as there is space between the strands in your fabric for the air to pass through, then this will breathe very nicely. Now let's move on to the pure acrylics here. This one is called Lion Brand Jeans Colors. Um, they do have a regular jeans line that is um, like denim colored, different shades of denim color. This one is a number four worsted weight and it is pure acrylic. And if you look closely at this strand, it does have a very, very tiny amount of fuzz to it, but it is very, very slight. There's almost no fuzz on this yarn. And it is spun in a very smooth, dense type of, of texture and it has a lot of twist in it and this also I think could work very well for a summer garment as long as you're using an open stitch it doesn't have to be lace it does not have to be lace it just needs to be open enough for the air to penetrate the fabric if you work this in a really tight dense stitch that's not going to be comfortable but as long as this is worked in a soft, um, drapey fabric that is open enough for the air to pass through, this can work very well for the summer. So this one over here is Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. Now, normally I would never think of using Red Heart Super Saver for a summer garment because it is fuzzy, it is kind of a little scratchy sometimes, and it just wouldn't be suitable for the summer. But the Ombre collection and some of the um, some of the other variegated or multicolored yarns uh, from Super Saver are also kind of like this. This one has a very very smooth spin, no fuzz, and from afar, looking at it, you know, like at arm's length, it kind of looks almost like a chainette yarn, even though it's not. So this yarn has a very smooth texture. 
it has no fuzz and worked in the right stitch pattern this will work very well for summer garments as long as you've got like i said enough openness in the fabric for the air to penetrate because this is a very smooth non-fuzzy yarn and bonus points for being machine washable pretty sure all of these are machine washable and that's important to me because i like to be able to just throw things in the wash in a pillowcase or inside a mesh bag and not have to worry about hand washing everything. Now last but not least is this one. This one is Lion Brand ZZ Twist and this is a Z Twist yarn which just means that it's spun in the opposite direction as the normal, um, you know, most yarns out there which are S Twist yarns. So Z Twist yarns are spun backwards which is supposed to work better for crocheters especially because sometimes S-twist yarns can come untwisted a little bit while you're crocheting and these are not supposed to do that because they twist in the correct direction to keep them from untwisting with crochet. So this one is also a number four worsted weight yarn and it's 100% acrylic but what I love about this one is that it's, it's mainly the texture for me. It is so smooth and so fuzz-free, I guess, that this feels very lightweight when it's worked up. And it is great for summer garments. In fact, my Easy Summer Tee that I released a couple weeks ago, for that pattern I used the ZZ Twist yarn in a different color. So this yarn kind of has the look of mercerized cotton, even though it's not which I love because it has that smooth, um, ropey-like texture and it has that sheen to it. But, because it's not cotton, it doesn't have to be spun as densely to get this rope texture down here. And so it is slightly lighter weight than the cotton version, just because it's not quite as dense. It's got a little bit more, um, airiness and squishiness to it. It actually has a lot of squishiness to it, whereas the Mercerized Cotton has a little bit of squish, but not very much. So this yarn, I would say, would be great for anything lacy, whereas this yarn, I would say, would be kind of good for anything, just because it is lighter and softer than the Mercerized Cotton. However, I still like the Mercerized Cotton and I'm still going to be using it. In fact, pretty much all the yarns that are here right now, I'm probably going to use at some point during the summer for a pattern of some sort. So I think all of these are equally good for summer when they're used in the right context with the right stitch and these can all be suitable for summer, very lightweight, very breathable, as long as they're used correctly. So the links to all of these yarns will be in the description box if you want to go check any of these out. And I'd love to hear what yarns you use during the summer for making garments, because there are a lot of them out there and I may have, I may have never heard of some great ones that you may have tried before. So if you have any tips for choosing summer yarns as well, go ahead and leave those in a comment down below because I'd love to hear about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what's your favorite summer yarn in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, making sure you click the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks for watching.